If you like to keep up to date with changes in technology and have both scientific and mechanical abilities, consider a career as an instrument technician. You'll install, test, maintain and repair a variety of measurement instruments. We heard from an instrument technician to get a better reading on the job. My name is Billy Kirby. I'm an instrument technician. As an instrument technician, you usually work on valves, regulators, and uh, control valves in process and out of process, from repairing and calibrating to general maintenance or installation. My typical day, I come in at 7 o'clock. I have build orders already laid out for my foreman on my bench, so I'll just go pick my orders and uh, pretty much just setting up what I got. So if it's a valve I got to build up, I'll throw the valve on my bench and pretty much go through the motions on building the valve. The instruments we work on control and regulate the process in such a way that it defines the process. It'll determine what the process will do. A controller will open a valve or close a valve. Well, a valve will just open or close. When you repair instruments in service and out of service, a valve you would just repair so it's not leaking, or a regulator, you pressure set it so it's actually sending the right pressure to downstream. Controllers, you would repair or install to control the process so it moves faster or slower. Instruments are important because they're a safety feature and they also transport fluids and gases. Without these instruments working in the field, we'd have uh, emergency shutdowns. Instrumentation is both an indoor and outdoor job. It just varies on if you're shop or field. You'd work in like factories, oil field sites, warehouses, food processing, or pulp and paper sites. My position right now is in shop, so you use basic personal protective equipment. In the shop, you'd usually just use safety glasses and from steel toed boots. Steering protection is also needed on job too. We use a vast range of tools and equipment. We go from crescent wrenches to pipe wrenches, tubing cutters, tubing benders. We use lathes, grinders, uh, bandsaws. We also use forklifts and overhead cranes. Parts are grabbed from the warehouse, so we just have aisles and aisles of parts and valves and regulators that we just roll a ladder up and grab. A lot of times I work alone, but sometimes you have a problem you can't fix by yourself, so you'll get a guy in to help you with it. They'll walk you through it, or if they don't know, they'll help you troubleshoot it. Instrumentation's fast-paced because there's a certain amount of work you actually have to get done in the day. Uh, here we get build orders sent to us, and they have a due date on them, so if we don't get them done in a certain amount of time, the customer won't have his valve in time for when he needs it. The skills that are best as an instrument technician are mechanically inclined, you have to have good communication skills, and you also want to be able to troubleshoot well. As an instrument technician, you need uh, two eight-week periods and two ten-week periods at a local uh, post-secondary school. So you need four years working in shop or in field with a journeyman to get your journeyman certificate. The requirements to have this team would be a good work ethic and uh, to show that this is what they want to do for a career. Outgoing, um, it's fast pace, so uh, and get along good with others uh, in a team environment is, is what we're looking for. I'd say about 80% of your job experience would be on job, and the rest would be all technical through courses and classes. You could start out as just an instrument technician in a shop and branch off into programming and branch off into the electrical side of things. You could also do the field construction installations, you could also go into the maintenance, so you're driving around to sites and fixing their problems. The satisfying aspects of the job to me would be the mechanical part of things, just getting to fix things. In my future career path, I'd like to branch off into the programming, so working on a computer, building logic patterns for customers. I'm happy with my job as an instrument technician because of the troubleshooting, the problem solving, that's what I like to do. I'll be an instrument technician for years to come. To become a journeyman instrument technician, you must find an employer who's willing to train an apprentice. 
You will apprentice for four 12-month periods, including on-the-job training and technical training in each period. Discover more about this occupation, such as educational requirements and salary ranges, in the occupational profile on the ALICE website, and learn about related occupations, like steam fitter pipe fitter, or refrigeration and air conditioning mechanic. Make the most of your future. Go to alice.alberta.ca.